We are now finally getting a glimpse into the carnage caused by the CV jab trials on children. For those of you who don't know, trials are being carried out on children aged 6 months to 12 years and thousands of parents are signing up their kids to take part in this. I want to share with you the story of a 12 year old girl named Maddie who was severely injured and continues to suffer the consequences of this highly unethical study. I've been in contact with one of her family members who has confirmed the story and she shared with me the following Facebook posts on her current condition. She says this is from a few weeks ago when she started having issues and she is now back in the hospital. My cousin is in a trial for the vax. Her parents signed her up for it. That is how she got it. Please pray for Maddie. She has been having a long list of neurological and gastrointestinal issues from a rare adverse reaction she had due to the second dose from the COVID vaccine trial she's in. Right now, she is in the hospital because of a bowel obstruction that was cleared and also being unable to swallow liquids or solids. She hasn't been able to eat or drink without throwing up for over a week. Tomorrow, she has an upper GI schedule that she will have to swallow six ounces of liquid, which as of right now seems impossible. We need this for the doctors to understand how her muscles are reacting. If she is unable to eat soon, she will have to have an NG2 placed, which she did not do well with earlier this week. I believe in prayer. Please pray she is able to swallow liquids tomorrow so that her body can get the nutrients it needs and so the doctors can begin to figure out why her body is reacting this way. On top of this, she has extreme pain in her back, neck, head, and abdomen along with numbness in her legs and arm. She has an MRI of her head and spine scheduled on March 16th. Please pray for her to heal so she can be the energetic 12-year-old who loves hanging out with friends and learning at school. I can't stand watching her wither away each day. The family then posted the following update. Thank you all for your continued prayers. They are working. Maddie's upper GI came back normal, which is good. They were once again miraculously able to get her endoscopy scheduled tomorrow and were able to move up her MRI so she only had to be under, an under anesthesia once. If those come back normal, I think we have a diagnosis. What I've learned is sometimes a diagnosis is actually done by process of elimination based on the symptoms you have. Right now, she is focusing on drinking 10 nutritional shakes a day so she doesn't have to get an NG tube. Since swallowing is hard and her stomach needs to learn how to digest things again, this has completely wiped her out and she slept for most of the day. She has, however, made amazing progress because she is so determined and has the doctors in awe. It has been a frustrating 1.5 months to be told seven out of the eight times we took her to the ER that every test is normal and that this is all in her head. Like she can stop the excruciating pain she is in, numbness in her legs and hands, fainting, dizziness, major gastrointestinal issues, fuzzy mind, memory problems, rashes, ulcers, and more. Now her anxiety is through the roof, which makes it worse. Thank God we demanded to be admitted for the second time and ended up having an awesome team of doctors and nurses that brought in the right specialist to determine what happened to her and a plan for recovery. They also made sure to be clear this is not in her head and is real. Hopefully tomorrow we will have an answer and a plan moving forward. We are praying she will be able to go home Saturday or Sunday. Thank you again for your prayers and the kind comments. It has really lifted Maddie's spirits to have so many people praying for her. You know, and this is a very common tactic uh, with doctors and pharma companies and all of these scumbags, you know, telling a 12-year-old child who um, the family member tells me she's paralyzed from the waist down and she, she can't urinate on her own. And they tell you it's all in your head that you're crazy, that you're an anti-vaxxer, that you don't care if people die, that you don't care about human life. This is the kind of gaslighting people have been going through for years when it comes to having a vaccine injured child. Um, so all I ask is that you share this video with as many people as possible, especially parents of young children, because it could literally save a life and it could eliminate so much unnecessary suffering. All right, guys, I will see you all next week. Bye.